into the open field. He has two men to beat to the 25, the 20, towards the corner, touchdown! Well, they had, they had as many people down in, in that defensive front as you could get. And to have Frank Gore crank one off like this when you have eight and nine. Frank Gore on first down, open field. A plus of 40 to midfield. Is this another big one? A career-long 80-yard touchdown. One more yard than his prior career high set earlier today. Well, just like the last one. I mean, you've got nine guys. Here's eight. There's a ninth standing right here. They're there for one reason, and, and that's to stop the run. And just like the last one, you know, what, eight's not enough. Nine's not enough because he cranks off another 80-yarder. That's got to be hugely demoralizing. To come. What's happening, Faithful? It's your man, Lawrence. Welcome to Platform 246. Thank you so much for coming in. Frank the Tank Gore, our legend, is having a really good couple of weeks. Not only did he win his first pro fight two weeks ago, but it's being reported right now over, like, I think the last 20 minutes or so that Frank is officially going to be signing a one-day contract with us tomorrow to retire a 49er. Not a ganger, don't bang. Frank Gore gets to come home and retire a liner. I couldn't be happier. It's something that he deserves. 16,000 yards, second all-time, 98 total rushing touchdowns over his career, and 110 touchdowns in total. He is the first battle Hall of Famer in my book, and he's a faithful in my heart. I know he's the same for all of you. So congratulations to Frank Gore. He knocked the son of a bitch out a couple of weeks ago, and now he's about to knock out the ring of fame at the 49ers Stadium. And then, of course, retiring as a 49er, as he always should have. Next stop, hopefully the NFL Hall of Fame. I'm your man, Lawrence. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Congratulations, Frank. Niner gang. Faithful forever. Y'all be safe.